All right, back out on the lake again this morning. I'm going to be uh, fishing in the creek again, uh, seeing if the pattern that's kind of held up the past couple of weeks still holds today, which is basically finding uh, structure up shallow that's shaded but near some deeper water. Uh, I've had pretty good luck uh, catching them on small crankbaits and Texas rigs over the past couple of weeks. So try to duplicate that again today. Uh, going to be a, a bluebird sky again, another hot one here in Texas, probably going to get up into the upper 90s before the, the day ends. But here this morning it's not too bad. We're in the mid 80s, got a, a nice breeze blowing through here, kind of cooling things down. Water temperatures are sitting in the mid 80s as well. Uh, probably by late in the day there'll be some spots that'll be pushing 90 degrees as, as the sun warms things. But um, but hopefully we'll have some luck uh, with the pattern that, that's worked out the past couple of times. Hopefully it holds true today. May do some experimentation with something called an MJ rig, which is basically a Texas rig, a, a weightless stick bait, but uh, it's got this little screw lock that you screw into the tail that's got a Colorado blade or a willow leaf blade attached to it to give it a little vibration and flash as it falls. I've had some pretty good luck uh, during the summer months back here fishing that as well. So may do some experimentation with that just to try something different, but uh, we'll let the fish tell us um, what they want and how they want it. So hopefully we'll have some luck today. So appreciate you tuning in and stopping by and let's go see if we can put some in the boat. Right where you're supposed to be. Little dink on the board, but he was on a nice lay down, sitting in the shade, right where I thought he would be. Beautiful little fish. small bass. It's two in the boat and about 15 minutes. Nice. One off that same stump a couple of weeks ago on the crankbait. This one's been feeding good. He's nice. And got a chunky little belly on him. Get you unhooked here. Looks like the Texas rig pattern with lizards is still holding up a couple of weeks later. Um, again, throwing to spots that I know have brush piles or cover in the shade. And they're actually up pretty shallow. Now it's, it's early. The water hadn't warmed up yet. It's, I was in here back in here a couple of weeks ago and Late in the day, the water gets up to 90 degrees. Uh, this morning we're sitting at about 84. So 
And it looks like he's got a couple of uh, crawfish antenna sticking out of his gullet, so maybe I'll throw a crawl later today too. See how that does, but nice little one pound, one and a quarter. Pretty. Fish pushing chat up against that uh, log, and I thought, huh, let's throw in there and see if there's one there, and sure enough, there is. Nice little pound and a half bass on the MJ rig. around some structure. All right. Well, I guess the MJ rig's paying off as well. A little slower presentation because it's not weighted. It's really slow fishing. Kind of like a floating neg rig. You, you just throw it out there and you really don't do much and they take off with it. But nice up a little pound and a half. Again, what I did, there were stumps up shallow, so just kind of threw in the middle of them and let it settle in, and, and uh, he picked it up. Well, not a big fish, but it's three or four put in the boat pretty quick. Big fish, but it's a fish. <laughs> he just had me wrapped around a tree. Okay. Little Dinkosaurus. He just felt big with that lever of a tree. One other neat feature of this bait is that uh, it's kind of tail weighted with this Colorado blade and what I've seen is you throw to cover, with it being tail weighted, it actually backs up and goes underneath cover. And that's, that's a pretty cool feature, I think. You can throw to like an undercut bank, get, a, get up under the undercut, or you throw to a log, it'll actually drop and go up under the log. And it brings a lot of strikes. So that's a really neat feature of this bait. I think I talked about this in a video I did a couple of years ago on an MJ rig, kind of similar conditions of the day, fishing in the summer on a bluebird sky day. I'll put a, I'll put a card with a link to that if you would, uh, like to go check that out but um, the other neat thing is as you retrieve it back to the boat um, after you know the initial fall if, if you want to make another cast you can actually kind of slow roll it in and it acts kind of like a swim bait and the, the blade spins and I've actually had fish uh, hit it on the move before so uh, you know you can if you don't get it on the drop you know you might get one on the retrieve so pretty pretty versatile bait um, seems to be paying off well we've put a few in the boat with the the lizard on Texas rigs, but uh, this little guy's working out pretty well, so I think I'm going to play around with it some more, see how we do today. So let's go see if we can put some more in the boat with the old MJ rig.
build. Right where he's supposed to be. Little dink. Baby ones up underneath this cover, but still fun. That's a nice fish. Biggest of the day. He's sitting up under a log. This fish probably go three and a half pounds, maybe. Of course, the dummy me doesn't have the net ready, so but it looks like it's stuck good. Yeah. Three and a half pounds. Good looking fish. Maybe we'll get a picture of you. I found interesting on that last fish with this MJ rig. I'm still throwing to structure and it's it's shallow to right on the edge of the drop off in the deep water, but it's not necessarily shaded, so I'm uh, I'm tossing this like right up against a log or a lay down and maybe pulling it over the top and letting it drop and and that seems to be where they're they're hitting but uh, it seems to have opened up a lot more targets in that even though this structure's out in full sunlight they seem to be tucked up underneath it and they just can't seem to resist this as it drops slowly or as I pull over it it, it scoots up under it like I said with this being somewhat tail weighted but uh, I don't know how many fish that is off this this one bait it's getting pretty tore up I'll have to change it out but uh, I don't know, last fish pretty nice, three and a half pounds. Um, you know, we're not, we're not getting huge ones yet, but the day isn't over yet. I think we're somewhere around 12, 13 fish so far, been at it about two or three hours. So, so it shows you that even on a bluebird sky day, hot Texas summer day, you can still, still put some in the boat. You just gotta, just gotta get the bait in front of them. First it felt like a brim was hitting it, but I guess it was just this little bass. Oh, well, dude. But again, um, through a into a shade right up against a tree stump, let it fall and felt a little tick. I thought it was a, a brim, but uh, then I saw the lion swimming off and had that nice little bass on there. A lot of fun. Looks like this MJ rig's working out well for the summer conditions where I'm fishing today.
Anything about the fish? Two and a half pounds, maybe. Sitting up there in the shade. Nah, maybe two pounds. Still, a lot of fun. in the shade. Nice two and a half pounder. couple pound fish pretty nice and dark <laughs> 